M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the SCU57 kit here, and we're going to install it into the Yaesu FT5D. So let's just take it out of the packaging. And the idea of having the kit is that you can also access analog rooms as well, but it is quite fiddly to install. I've done, I have made other videos using and installing this kit, which is reliant really on a PC and the connections to a PC. That's the audio, the microphone and the speaker connections. And so in the end, I found it, I just found it easy just to use just the SCU cable. So you do get a, a manual with this. And the other thing that you get, which is quite useful, is this twin pin connector here. Because that does allow audio connection. So this part, you only use this part here. So let's, so let's say it comes in two parts. I know that there's grey and black cables here. And there's grey and black at the, with my hand out the way, at the other end as well. There you are. Grey and black. Okay, and then if you look, the other end of those grey and black ones has now is now plugged into this. This is actually a separate part. Okay, this this is a bit which I don't really use, and you only really use this bit if you're going to try and make some analog connections to rooms. And there's a whole learning curve to that because there's different settings on your PC. So that's why you use that. But generally, I don't really use that. But but you will need it if you want to try and access analog, analog rooms. My experience is there are analog rooms, but they tend to be connected to digital as well. So you don't really need to access them. Are there loads of analog rooms, and lots of activity? Well, I couldn't find any, you know, let me know if I'm wrong. So, but it is nice having the complete kit. And I think the complete kit is 70 pounds. Um, but if you just go for the SCU cable now, we've got the SCU 18, 19 uh, for, for the handheld radios, you know, FT1, FT2, FT3, FT5. So the latest one which works well with Windows 11 is the, this is the SCU55 cable. I'll just see if I can zoom that in a bit better. They all look the same, but it's different numbers. Now you can make the older SCU 19 work with Windows 11, but you have to roll back the driver and use an older driver. And I've done that and it works fine, but you know, it sometimes it might make you do it every time you decide to use your WireZX system on your PC. And obviously that's you know not fun. So that's why in the end, I just got myself a kit, even though I still have got my SCU 19. because so I find these cables so useful, but I have got the SC, the FT1, uh, two and five so very useful for me. So if you want to connect your SCU cable you I'll Try and get some light on this. It just goes where the microphone would go The sort of camera microphone it goes that way around You can see the ridge dead Towards the screen and it just connects like that and then as soon as you plug this into your PC Let's try and freeze that as soon as you get this into your PC, you're going to see the drivers. If, if you're not, you know, because sometimes you have to install them, then just go to Yesu's website and all the drivers are there and just really, I would run, go to the website and run the drivers before you ever connect the cable to the PC, is my advice. And I think you'll get plenty of functionality just using, just using the, uh, the SCU cable, yeah? But yeah, it is great fun playing around with the analog mo mode and things like that. Now, if you want your own room, you are going to need the HRI, HRI 200 if you want your own room. Uh, I have got that and it's great fun to play with as well, but it doesn't actually work as far as I can see with the FT5. You need the FT sort of 300, 400, and I've got a feeling 100 will do, will do the HRI 200, but I did really enjoy tinkering with that and I tend to just dig it out when I'm in the mood for it. So that's it really, so I hope this helps you connect your cables these two you know these cables here once you've got the analog part connected to your radio here so we're all set for analog now and then and then knowing which one to connect to which one here matters as well you've got the 3.5 jack 2.5 here look it's straight away it's put the radio into into tx so you need to be prepared for what you're going to do you need to get the do some learning on 
on on the whole analog setup and there are instructions there john crook has made a video i've made videos um there are instructions uh, but it you can get a bit lost in it um but 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 you know that's the fun of it it's not a simple thing it's only simple when you just use the scu cable so seven three thanks for watching my channel catch you on air all the best